You're doing well. Right on. Start to feel like uh, game week now that you got an opponent on the board and some game plan going in. Yeah, it's exciting. You know, coming in like after summer, it's just exciting to get into fall camp. And now after, you know, a couple weeks of fall camp and school starting and having practice, it's exciting to get into game week and know that, you know, come Saturday, everything's going to mean something. You're, uh, you're in graduate school. Right I now. am, so yeah. What's, what's your what's your class load like? Uh, it's actually not that bad. So I have one class each day of the week except for Fridays, and you know they're about two and a half hours or three hours. Um, but it's pretty manageable. You know, the beautiful thing about grad school is that everyone wants to be there and they want to learn what you know is being taught, and so there's not really any um, like hassle with getting people to class or having you know busy work. Everything's really you know focused. So that's that's the nice part about it. Trey told us you were selected uh, as a captain. Uh, uh, yeah. Was that, as a kicker, what does what does that mean to be uh, to be one of those four or five guys going out there? Uh, it's an honor. You know, I think I've earned the respect of all the guys and the coaches as well. You know, being a fifth year senior and having some success on the field, and I'm just excited to go out and play against North Carolina. You know, I'm not really focusing all that much about you know being a captain. Um, I think it's fun that all of all three of us are number nine for the game. Um, so that was a little fun tidbit, but I'm just focused on, you know, kicking off and kicking some field goals. Now they put in a new field. Uh, it, it's going to be fairly fresh uh, for you. What, 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 what kind of struggles or, or challenges does that present when you got when you got to plant on a, on a new field? Oh, I'm not even worried about it at all. Um, didn't know they put in a new field. Didn't even know what kind of field they had. Haven't really looked at it. You know, at the end of the day, it's just snap, kick, and hold. It's snap, hold, and kick, technically. Um, <laughs> so that's all I'm focused on, you know, seeing the ball and kicking it through the uprights. Yeah, you're taking over uh, uh, kickoff duties now from what we saw. How are you feeling about that? Oh, I'm fired up. I'm excited. You know, kicking off is fun because you get out there with 11 guys, well, 10 other guys who are about to run down, you know, put their bodies on the line, and they're they're excited for kickoff. They're ready to go hit somebody. So it's exciting to be out there and help them, like, participate in that play. Also fun to just, just, just knock, the, knock the piss out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a blast. So I'm really excited for it. Do you get to run down there and stick your nose in it, or are you a safety in that uh, in the coverage, uh, more of a safety, right. you know, we're more, than a fighter. Yeah, yeah, more of a safety for sure. So hopefully, no one has to cover. You know, hopefully they're all out the back of the end zone. That's the goal. So we'll see what happens come Saturday. How consistently have you been, have you been getting into the back of the end zone or out of the back of the end zone? Oh, pretty consistently. You know, I feel great about my kickoffs, especially going into game days. You know, you get a little more adrenaline, a little more pumped up, so the ball tends to travel further. And you know, heading to North Carolina, it's going to be hot. It's going to be humid, which for me is you know exciting to hear. Um, the ball is going to travel a little bit further there, so really, I think I can be pretty effective, you know, kicking it out of the end zone. You've been through a lot of these trips, but there are a lot of young guys who haven't been through this yet. Uh, what do you tell them about taking care of their business, traveling, getting ready for the game? Yeah, you got to soak it in, you know, the experience, but you have to soak it in within, you know, the way that you prepare for a game. It's really exciting to, you know, travel and see new stadiums, and you know, it really is exciting to get booed by fans. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's fun to play in a place that everyone's rooting against you and for you to perform and. You know, you can kind of at the end of the day walk away with a win and, you know, you leave however many thousands of fans they have there sad that you guys won. So it's a fun place. So just tell them to soak it in and really cherish all the opportunities because we're really lucky to be able to be doing what we're doing and, you know, not take advantage of it and enjoy the four or five years they have. Coach was talking about the team rallying around all four quarterbacks as they competed. Was that any different today when you guys found out that Ross was going to be the guy? I mean, did that change the dynamic at all? Oh, I mean, all four quarterbacks are great. You know, luckily I just focus on kicking, so yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing I'm too worried about. Oh, we need a quarterback? Cool. All right. Great. Yeah, yeah. Whenever, whenever they call field goal, you know, now, now I'll tune in. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, Thanks, Matt. Perfect. Appreciate Thank you. It.